these women are kept in cow sheds. Their job was to produce milk. Mary had the misfortune to be captured here. The doctor rubbed butter into the syringe and injected an unknown liquid into Mary's body. Mary didn't put up a fight. She was collared by the vicious butcher and dragged all the way to the filthy metal cage. There were other poor women in captivity as well. One of them was severely beaten by the butcher because she couldn't produce milk. Mary was awakened at night by the sound of screams. The woman next to her was in labor. The doctor and the butcher came and quickly put the woman in the right position. After a long time, the woman finally has her baby. But the doctor was not happy because the woman had given birth to a boy who could not produce milk. The woman cried her heart out, but the butcher threw the baby boy into a garbage can. The woman who has lost her baby finds Mary and cries. And Mary thought about how she could escape. One night soon after, Mary pretended to have a stomachache. She shouted loudly. A butcher rushed over to check on her, thinking Mary was about to give birth. He quickly opened the cage, but as soon as he crouched down, he was kicked to the ground by Mary. Mary pounced on him and attacked him again and again, and the butcher died quickly. This instantly excited the other women in the cage. They were jumping and dancing with great joy, just as Mary was about to free them. Another butcher walked in. A horrible butcher entered the room and Mary rushed to him. She desperately tried to strangle him with a chain. She didn't let go until the butcher was dead. Mary threw the key to the woman in the cage and went ahead to explore. In front of a door, she saw a woman who couldn't produce milk being brutally murdered by the butcher. Sorrowful Mary left the place. She went to another corridor and saw an even more horrifying scene. Inside the room, women were being held captive, their bodies shaking. When someone came by, Mary rushed to hide in a room with the poor girls inside. Just as Mary was about to question them, the butcher rushed in and took her away. When Mary woke up, she saw the butcher lying on the floor. A girl saved her. Mary didn't have time to thank her before she saw someone entering the house. They rushed to the side. The man who came in was a cruel doctor. Mary had the doctor under her control at once. The doctor was too frightened to resist. Mary and the girl opened her mouth and pulled out her tongue. Then Mary and the girl dragged the doctor and put her in a cage. They wanted her to feel what it was like to be held captive. At this point, all the doctor could do was yell in anger. On the other side, the owner of the ranch arrives. He stopped at a door to look inside. What he didn't know was that Mary and the others were hiding on either side of the door. In this horrible women's farm, two girls are running for their lives. After confirming that the boss is gone, they rush to open the gate and escape to another exit. And whether or not they get out, we never know. An evil boss keeps the women in captivity and makes them produce milk every day. Then he made their milk into cosmetics. The skin of all women who use the cosmetic becomes very fine. And the price for making money is these poor women. At the end of the movie, the director intersperses a lot of footage of a cow farm. Some cows are killed by humans because they can't produce milk. These scenes and the storyline are very similar to the content of the movie. Maybe the director is reminding us that animals have their own consciousness. If we don't treat animals well, then the day they rebel, humans will also face a serious crisis. This is also an ironic story. He reminds girls to protect themselves when they go out. And Mary, the heroine of this movie, is a good example of that. She's trapped in a terrible place, but she doesn't sit back and wait for death. We have to take the initiative to find a solution. When people face difficulties, the best solution is to overcome them. This is the end of this movie. We'll see you next time.